As you guys know, I'm a big fan of card games. I'm really passionate about them and I played, well, majority of them in the past or collected them in the past. Right now I'm invested in Flesh and Blood and One Piece, but there's a third one that might take over over those two, and that's Star Wars Unlimited. I signed a deal with FFG and Rebel, the Polish company that distributes this in my country. Uh, well, and I'm incredibly happy about it because I would be buying it anyway, but now I got it for free. Hey! Thank you. No, really, seriously. Thank you very much. I'm gonna unbox my first ever box, okay? So, first and foremost, I literally didn't look at any spoilers. I have seen the Darth Vader card and the uh, Luke card, but that's about it, okay? I never seen any other cards specifically to save this for this moment. I really am a, like a big retro fan of card games when we didn't have a spoiler season. Uh, the only things we have seen was in like printed magazines and so on. And uh, in the past, I was a big fan of the Star Wars card game that was available like 20 years ago, but I never had enough money to actually play it. So Star Wars Unlimited is like my second chance to enjoy the universe while having the chance to like do it from the ground up from the first expansion. So I'm incredibly happy that you guys can go through this uh, unique journey that I'm gonna go on right now and open my first ever box of Star Wars Unlimited. All right, let's, without further ado, let's just jump in and open the box. As you guys see, we also have the Game Genic uh, playmat that you can actually, I think this is not limited. Uh, I mean, it is unlimited, right? Oh my god, the pun already starts. But anyway, I'm almost certain you will be able to buy this because this just says official accessory. It's your typical quality playmat, uh, nothing out of the ordinary, but I think the quality of the print is actually pretty nice. So just wanted to tell you that. I also have some um, game uh, deck boxes and so on that will open from the same line of products, uh, but that will be in a different video. So I'm going to use my trusty screwdriver over here um, to open the box. Remember, this is my first ever Star Wars Unlimited. So I have actually no idea how this product's, product looks in real life yet. So very excited about this one. Foil on the ground, that's how it goes, right? I just realized I don't have a box to put on the booster packs in it. All right, let's put this aside. Oh, they have paper uh, booster packs. Oh, that's nice. That's a lovely move. We had them in also in Flesh and Blood. Um, and in Flesh and Blood, they left like a little bit of trail of like paper uh, on the cards or, or outside of the booster packs. I wonder if the same will be happening here, but... Uh, already, this feels like really high quality, I'll be honest with you. Like, it feels like a high quality product. All right, very easy to open. So, I have no idea how the card distribution looks like. I have heard that for the draft and limited in general, you will have one card that's... Yeah, okay, so, from what I know, in draft and limited, uh, well, it actually only in draft, you will be... First, putting out the leaders out of the pack that we will draft. So this will be... What do I have here? This is a token upgrade, okay? And the base, right? And then we have a leader card over here. Yes, this is the leader card. So... The paper quality is... Magic and Flesh and Blood-like. So not super thin, not super thick. Pretty good, I would say. Feels good in the, in the hand. Uh, the hologram actually looks pretty awesome, from what you can see as well here. Okay, we have John Jin Erso, Resisting Oppression, the Rebel. That's our leader, both-sided. It's a common, so not really much to talk about here. But those are the cards that you will, when you will be drafting, you will be putting aside. Okay, and now we have our first ever booster pack. So, I'm assuming first will be commons. Let's see. So we have a common, Spets, Spets Force Soldier. Okay, then we have Stadfest Battalion. This is not a common, so two commons. Cargo Juggernaut. Okay. Then we have the Keep Fighting Tactic. I'll be honest with you, I'm not certain what to think about the fact that the artwork is on the bottom instead of the, um, instead of the upper side of the card. Really not sure what to think about it yet. I, I have to get accustomed to it. That's something that I had not yet met in... Uh, a lot of card games, maybe something in the 90s. Uh, I think 
cult had it, if I remember correctly. Maybe someone in the comments can uh, correct me, actually, if they have better uh, memory than me. We have Escort Skiff. Those are still comments. You can see on the bottom here, there's a small C. Are my nails clean? Yeah, there. Okay. So there's a small C here that is in bronze color, right? So that's going to be the mark of the common. We have Vigilant Honor Guards. Another Trick Event. Asteroid Sanctuary. Viper Probe Droid. Bounty Hunter Crew. Still commons. And now we have uncommons. So the U, silver U at the bottom. Okay, so we have Thai Advanced. Big fan of uh, of the of the ships. I'll be honest with you. Imperial deck on ships, that's something that I'm personally interested in. It's something that just somehow draws me in, you know? Like that's something that I would like to build. I'm not sure if it's gonna be viable, but I would definitely try to like, you know, build a deck that focus, that has a little bit of focus on the ships but it also has some ground units. But I would like to do ships mainly, right? So uh, there's another uncommon. I'm going to put the commons on here, uncommons here. We have the Distant Patroller. Um, this is a fringe vehicle, vehicle fighter, okay? Then we have Bosk. Very known character for sure, right? The Bounty Hunter. That's another uncommon. Then we have a legendary. Oh, okay. So legendary, if I'm not mistaken, are... Um, every eight packs, so we should have three per booster box. So this is super, super laser blast, disaster tactic, defeat all units. Okay, so for eight mana, so it's like a reset button, like the mass removal that you have almost in every single card game. Is that good? I'll be honest with you, I don't know yet, because as I said, I don't know the cards. And our foil, it's our common resilient it's an upgrade for units. Okay, so this is our first foil is a common, but let's pay attention. Okay, so we're going to put the, uh, the legendary in the middle. Let's do it this way. Leaders and bases here. Uncommons here. We're going to put the commons aside. And let's take a look at the foil from up close. So you guys have a better look at the foiling from this. So this is a typical rainbow, fo rainbow foil. So the text box is slightly foiled. Actually, I'm not certain. Is it? It's like it's so reflective. No. Okay, so the text box is not foiled, as you can see here, but the frame and artwork is, and it looks very vivid. What about the zero and three here? Let me check. Okay, so those are not foiled, but the frames around it is. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Okay, our first foil goes over here. Sorry it takes such a long time, I just really wanted to save you the first ever booster pack. Uh, that moment, you know, that I wanted to cherish that. Okay, let's go. Now we're gonna go a little bit faster. We have the second one. So, first, we're gonna have a leader, and it's a common, Lea Organa. Man, please give me a showcase, right? Give me a showcase. Another base, this is the Catacombs of Kadeva. Your standard red base and the token upgrade on the back. Uh, oh, yeah, and I should have started like this, right? So, no, wait, that's going to be the foil at the end. So, we're going to start with the commons. This is the... Okay, wait, actually, we can compare the common with the foiling of it. So, the interesting part is, some people will like the non-foils over the foils, right? And some people will prefer the blinged out versions. Because they do have a very distinct, uh, like, let's say, difference between, between them, right? There's a bit more depth in the foiling, but the colors are a little bit more dull because of the nature of the foils. That's happening in every single card game. Essentially, the thing that is being foiled is a little bit darker as well, right? Okay, so we go further. We have Death Star Stormtrooper, basic, basic unit. Nothing special. Then we have Escort Skiff that we already had. Scout Bike Pursuer. Imperial Trooper. Ardent Sympathizer. While you have the initiative, this unit gets plus two plus zero. For three mana, five, three. That's a little bit good value. I wonder if this is playable. Okay. So Academy Training. This is an upgrade. 
we have another asteroid sanctuary exhaust an enemy unit give a shield token to a friendly unit that costs three or less well that's actually a pretty good tempo switch no i didn't read it for the first time but it looks like a tempo good tempo switch you're able to essentially save you save yourself from one attack and essentially also like negate one point of damage right oh sorry one source of damage so this this might i don't know we'll, we'll pay attention to it this might be actually pretty good waylay trick return a non-leader unit to its own hand another tempo tempo trick but essentially something like this is only playable if you put something that is way more expensive into the opponent's hand than this card is right so you gain tempo like if someone spends like an entire turn to i don't know put a six mana or something right uh six mana unit and then you use this so yeah but also remember this game has such different rules like you have action per action it's not like a typical turn and turn right i have to, to get accustomed to that as well Snow snow trooper lieutenant that's our common still fifth brother that's the uncommon force imperial inquisitor this unit gains raid one for each damage on him he gets plus zero plus one while attacking for each damage on him on attack you may deal one damage to this unit and one damage to another ground unit this sounds like a very good unit i'll be honest with you something that is able to ping damage to targets is always pretty flexible and playable so i don't know look i didn't play yet this is as, as i said i read the, the cards for the first time but this this sounds to me like something that could be playable we have yoda uncommon yoda really okay restore two choose any number of players they draw they each draw a card when defeated hmm all right old maneuvered choose an arena ground or space exhaust each unit in that arena each unit and arena. Is that symmetric? Has to be. Okay. Gideon Husk. That's a rare. Okay. When an enemy unit is defeated, given an experience of friendly unit. And the foil is a common. Cloud City Wingard. And again, this is the same type of foil. Rainbow foiling with all the colors, as you can see. There we go. Okay, second booster pack gone. Okay, rares are gonna go here. We have legendaries and rares. All right, I, sa I said I'm gonna go faster. I'm gonna really go faster, okay? I'm gonna really go faster. So, leader, um, Grand Moff Tarkin. I'm really caught off guard because it doesn't have the hologram over here, but it has over here on the horizontal version of the card, okay? And the base is the Dagoba Swamp. All right. And we... Oh my god! I, I saw something. It, it, it had no frame. It had no frame. It's gonna be our first foil with no frame. It's the Hypers Hyperscape version, right? So we have Yeda Agitator. It's a common. I need to move the commons here. Like this. Oh. That's gonna be better. Uh, Alliance Dispatcher, Snow Speeder, Resilient, Death Star Stone Trooper, Restock Supply, choose up to four cards and discard pile, put them on the bottom of the owner's deck in random order. Okay, that's very specific. Graveyard Hate. Okay. Mining Guild, the TIE Fighter. Common Outer Rim Headhunter. Not a common. Cloud City of Wingard. What is interesting here? Look at this. This is the Hyperscape version with no frame. And I'll be honest with you, they look amazing. Look how much of a difference does the fact that the card has no frame. How much of a difference that is. Right? Also a little bit less less text because this this version has the explanation of what Sentinel does and this one doesn't. But look at the difference. This one just looks so much better, right? I wonder what's gonna be the difference in value between those. Because you can also get a foiling of that, which is I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so our first ever hyperscape version. 
we're gonna put that onto this pile over here. All right, Hardpoint Heavy Blaster, that's the uncommon. Relying Cry, tactic. Woo, legendary Devastator, Imperial Vehicle, capital ship for 10 mana. All right, in a, wait, it's a hyperscavation. Wait, I got two of them in one pack? Oh, damn. Right? Two in one pack. I wonder how often that happens. Sentinel, Overwhelm, so like Trample if you come from Magic. When played, you may deal damage to any unit equal to the number of resources you control. So in most cases, that would be 10. But you cannot split it up. It's like one source. Man, I mean, it's 10, 10, 10 and deals 10 damage when it comes into play and then blocks as well. Right? Huh. I wonder how playable this is. But, no, no, already. Oh my god, I skipped. I skipped the card. Oh, come on! I'm so mad at myself. All right, but I, I think this is pretty playable. No? I mean... No, I don't know. 10 mana, that's a lot. We'll see. 10 mana is a lot. Probably not playable, but it's a beautiful card, so I'm pretty happy. Red 3, that's our rare, and now the Hyperscape Common Foil. Okay, so this booster pack was nuts, no? We had we had two Hypers, three Hyperscapes. What the hell? Including a, a legendary. What? And this is a foil on top of it. A common. But looks... Dude, the, the quality of this looks like it's a, it's a legendary. Not gonna lie. This looks amazing. Maximum firepower. A little bit dark though. I'm not gonna be honest though. Like, the graphic a little bit is a little bit dark. I feel like I could actually like the non-foil version a little bit better than the foil version. But uh, that will depend from art to art, right? But it looks amazing anyway. Maximum firepower. Fabulous. All right. So we're going to put the Hyperscape foil over here. Let's take another one. All right. We start with the leader, director... Kranich, then the base, it's a echo base, the green one, and we go here. Moment of peace, all right, we're gonna go through the comments a little bit faster. Regional the Sympathizer, Gorilla Attack, Port, Patrolling, V-Wing, Vanquish, Occupier, Occupier, Siege Tank, Snapshot Reflexes, Lothal Insurgent. Hmm. If I, if I just change one letter over here, All right, confiscate, defeat and upgrade, like a small removal, okay. General Taggy or Tagge. Uh, look, I'm a, I'm a fan of Star Wars, but I don't know like the deep lore. I'll be probably lynched because maybe he's like appearing in a lot of movies or something. I just don't remember. All right, so that's another common. We have Zeb Aurelius. Very comic book like um, appearance, right? Then we have Protector, Regional Governor, that's our rare, and we have a foil of common, Tactical Advantage, Tactic, give, give a unit, plus two, plus two, for this phase, for one mana. Just a standard combat trick. Okay. That's not a common foil. Let's go another booster pack. Uh, we start with the leader, so we have here a IG-88, nothing special, and we have a command center, and now we go for the cards themselves. So I have academy training, so common, scout bike, pursuer, already have this, ardent sympathizer, I think they were even next to each other, so that might be the order of the, of the print, right, before they're being cut out. Regional sympathizers... Patrolling V-Wing, Moment of Peace, Snow Triple Lieutenant, beautiful art. Beautiful art, I'm a big fan. Big fan. Okay. Oi! 
I skipped over some cards. Snapshot Reflexes. This is uh, common as well. Again, ah, uh, we're gonna get a, we gonna, uh, we're gonna get a foil hyperscape of this one for sure. Force is with me. That's an uncommon, pretty iconic scene, I guess. Out maneuver. Admiral Piet. And then we have Admiral Akbar. Let's go. It's a trap. And we have Ghost and Foil Uncommon. But is that Hyperscape? No. Is that? No. No, it can't be, right? Because it has, like... No, it's not. This is the frame, right? This is like an ornamental frame. As a common. Uh, sorry, uncommon. Okay, Foil Uncommon. Beautiful. All right, let's get a new one. Next booster pack. I don't even know which one is this. I'll be honest with you. All right, we start with the leader. So we have a Grand Inquisitor here. The red leader. Then we have Castro City. All right, and now we start with, again, comments. Eco Base Defenders, Guardians of the Wills, Partisan Insurgent. Sorry for let me put it in more in focus. Here we go. Fleet Lieutenant. Tactical Advantage. Disarm. Cell Block Guard. ISB Agent. Oh, let's go. Dude, come on. Those frameless are beautiful. I don't know what to think yet. Like, should have should they have been by default looking like this? Should the card have no frames? And this, like, you know, this should be, like, how they essentially look like. Or should they be, like, more rare, right? The collector in me tells me this looks so much nicer for collector items, right? But I always just love all the cards to look this way, like, without the frames. But, man, those cards are beautiful. Beautiful when they look like this. Absolutely amazing. Academy Defense Walk. And just a common, right? Just a common. But they look so beautiful. All right, Chewbacca. He's an uncommon. I want, wait, Luke is uh, legendary, no? I'm uh, actually not certain. Uh, prepare for takeoff. For a second, I thought it's a foil, but it's just very shiny. Then we have Power Failure. Now we have Emperor's Legion. That's our rare. Return unit. Each unit in your discard pile that was defeated this phase to your hand. Well, this looks like a lot of value. If the deck is like, can be built like to with like, sustain essentially right a lot of turns this looks like a card that you want to have in like two copies i, I would say a minimum actually not minimum but i, I would say playable right yeah, okay oh ooh. uncommon hyperscape wait this is goes for rares foil as well how many of those are you getting per box i need to check it later but beautiful Rainbow foil. Very exciting, like, booster box to open. I'll be honest with you. There's, there's uh, so many things that you can open, right? Very beautiful. Power failure tactic. Wow. Defeat any number of upgrades on a unit. I don't know if this is playable, but it looks amazing. All right. This comes to the hyperscape foils over here. All right. Let's go. Actually, so foils here, commons here. Okay. So we had one common hyperscape foil and one uncommon. Then we had one legendary normal version and one legendary hyperscape. Okay. Start with the leader. We have Director Kranich and we have the red base. Just checking if I didn't miss anything. Okay, so occupy occupier siege tank. Uh, where are the comments? Gladiator star destroyer. Vanquish defeat a non-leader unit. This brings me back because in World of Warcraft TCG, that was a big fan of. Vanquish was like also in the base set, and it was I think for four mana. It was just the defeater unit, and it was incredibly playable in World of Warcraft, which makes me think. 
that a card with very similar effect, but for just one mana more, might be also very playable here. Specifically, also, I'm talking about um, limited, right, where uh, removal is typically premium. So, we'll see. Uh, partisan Insurgent, Tactical Advantage, Guardian of the Wills, Confiscate, Soup Racer, Cell Block Guard, Fighters for Freedom, that's our first uncommon of the booster pack, Devotion, Bamboozle, <laughs> Agent Kalus, that's our rare. Ambush. After you play this unit, he may be ready and attack an enemy unit. When another unique unit is defeated, you may draw a card. Use this ability only once each round. But 5 mana, 4-4. Four, four. Pretty expensive, but, well, has an immediate effect. So this might be pretty nice. And then we have Nice. I know, it's just a common. Just a foil common. But as I said, I'm a big fan of, of ships, right? So all the, like, hyperscape foils of ships and so on, I'm a big fan of. And this is your classic Alliance X-Wing in foiling. I wonder if the hyperscape version of it doesn't have a textbook at all and is, like, a full art. Imagine that in foil. We'll see. All right. Well, beautiful. Splendid. Okay. Let's open another one. So, Chewbacca as a leader. Then we have Capital City. And we go over here. Consular Security Force. Mission Briefing. Homestead Militia. Rugged Survivors. Imperial Interceptor. Another ship with beautiful artwork. Cannot wait to find this in a more rare variant. Beautiful card. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to collect the ships. I'll be honest with you. I think this is going to be what I'm going to be collecting. The ships. It's a common. Uh, resupply. Karelian Freighter. Freighter? I, not a native speaker. Jawa Scavenger. Swoop Racer. We have Power of the Dark Side. Okay, that's an uncommon. General Dodona, not uncommon. And we have Fett's Fire Spray, Hyperscape Rare, beautiful. Oh my. No, seriously though, the Hyperscape versions are beautiful. Absolutely insane. Oh my, I can only imagine this in foil. If you control Boba Fett or Django Fett, ready this unit when played. Action, 2 mana, exhaust a non-unique unit. Beautiful. Alright, this goes towards our hyperscape, but it's a rare. Then we have another rare, Electro Stuff. And then we have our uncommon foil, General Tag Tage. Okay, this goes here, this goes here. Does it have distribution over here mentioned? On the booster packs? Mm, uh, only, only mentions like the overall. Okay. What about the box? Wait, I actually didn't change. Check the box. No, no information over here. Okay. So, we have Emperor Papati. That's a rare. Oh, so the leader on the bottom can be a rare. Did I miss any? That's very important information. So, Emperor Palpatine, this is a rare leader. I thought you can only get uh, like the rare leaders in the rare spot of the booster pack because of the, how the draft system works. But this, uh, this is interesting. So I guess the bases that are also rares can also be in the same slot. So we have Emperor Palpatine. Same artwork on the both on the both sides, but it's this different cropping. Okay, so this goes into rares in this case. And the base is a common. Okay. I'll have to check the leaders later on. Alright, so we have Guerrilla Attack Pod, Homestead Militia, 
Consular Security Force, Fleet Lieutenant, Mission Briefing, Echo Base Defender, ISB Agent. Oh, I already see a hyperscape here of a ship. Let's go. Uh, I this was was it this one? Or is there another one behind it? I think this is this one, no? Seven Fleet Defended. Bro! I love it. Seriously, I'm I'm collecting all the ships. I'm collecting all the hyperscape foils, non-foils of the ships. Those are beautiful. Seventh Fleet Defender. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful artwork. Lovely. All right, let's put this into hyperscape. Then we have reinforcement walker. Power failure. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. So we have a different version of this card in the hyperscape foiling. So we're gonna check both of those. Look at the difference. This is crazy, no? It looks like a completely different card. Look how big of a change is the lack of framing like making to your visuals like like the card looks just so much bigger right when you look at the at the desk and you look at those those two cards this looks like a tv like a small tv and this looks like a plasma big unit you know like <laughs> no but seriously though look at this crazy i can only imagine like the difference in some ships Cannot wait to open some. All right, so this is uncommon. Goes over here. And we go back to the booster pack. AT, AT suppressor. Sneak attack. That's our rare. Play unit from your hand. It costs three less and enters plays, enter the play ready. At the start of a group phase, defeat it. Oh, okay. So it essentially can allow you to like suicide a unit. Like a powerful unit. You gain plus one mana, essentially, right? Because you spend two to pay three less. And that unit will get defeated, but you're able to get value out of that unit during that turn. So this is like a very... As it, I mean, the name says it all. Sneak attack, right? It can be sneaky-beaky-like. Neat card, neat card. Like cards like this. And we have a foil of Guerrilla Attack Pod. Pretty nice. There's a lot of reds on it, so it looks very... Like, the reds and the gold in real life looks, like, let's say, a little bit more um, classy than on the camera, I'll be honest with you. On camera, you get a lot more colors. Okay. Another booster pack. Here we go. Whoop, whoop. We get a common of leader and a common of uh, of the base. Okay. Academy Defense Walker, Precision Fire, Metal Ceremony, Seasoned Short Trooper. I'll be honest with you, I think like the Imperial artwork is just hitting different. You know? The Imperial artworks are just so good. So good. Surgical Droid. Disabling Fang Fighter. Tai Alen Fighter. Surprise Attack. We have Auzituk Liberator Gunship. Beep Fortuna. Another. Oh, sorry, I was a little bit off camera. Uh, Beep Fortuna. Iconic character as well. It comes into play shielded, play an event from your hand, it costs one less for an action. But this actually sounds pretty okay, no? It sounds pretty playable. I wonder. It's a unique, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, this is uncommon. So we have Mon Motma, Admiral Ozel, Aggression, which is our legendary. Choose two in any order. Draw a card, defeat up to two upgrades, ready unit with three or less power, deal four damage to a unit, and you can choose two. All right, that's a crazy card, no? This is like a staple for red. Has to be. That's so, like for four mana? 
has to be a good card. There's no way this is not a good card. I wonder, because I, as I, I know the rules, right? I didn't play it, I didn't read the cards, but this looks like to me, like if I'm building a deck, and you can have a pretty, pretty cheap card, right? Four is not that much. And you can choose two options out of four that sounds pretty fucking awesome. And also, drawing a card, always good. Dealing four damage to a unit, always good. Like, from what I've seen, most units have less than five, right? So this will essentially deal, like, lethal damage to a unit. This looks like a very playable card. And, yeah, let's go! I know it's a common, but I'm just so happy. So, uh, wait, Legendary comes here. Uh, did I have this ship in foil already? No. Fantastic. Tire and then Fighter. Big fan. All right, yeah, I'm collect. Oh, it's decided. I'm collecting all the ships in all the versions. All right, that's gonna be my thing. That's gonna be my thing. All right, so we go with Leia, Castro City, and then we go Rugged Survivors, Precision Fire, Resupply, Academy Defense Walker. Uh, disabled on the right, strike true. I think we're slowly going through all the comments and we, like there's still some that we didn't see, but I feel like we have, we'll be seeing a lot less new comments now. Wing leader, a uncommon. It's gonna be beautiful in the other versions. Oh, I can already see it. Like the, the artwork, it looks amazing. Like the, 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 the amount of space it has on the artwork it will make the card really brief, you know? So that's uncommon. Shoot first. Sounds like a good tactic. Uh, Rebel Assault. Now a rare Wolfie or Wolfe. And Bounty Hunter. For a moment, I thought this is like a foil legendary. For a moment, of, I thought this is a foil legendary, but it's just a common. Just a common. But it looks like classy you know <laughs> that's why i was like oh my god oh, and it's a common all right let's go another one and i can tell you the booster packs are not leaving trail of paper or glitter like the flesh and blood head so that's good boba fett in common version unlucky would have been nice to have the most rare version right strike true system patrol craft then we have Green Squadron A-Wing. We didn't have this one before. Uh, Recruit. Wilderness Fighter. We didn't see this one as well before. Open Fire. Underworld Tug. Gamorian Guards. ATST. Again, beautiful artwork. They hit different, I'm telling you. The machines are hitting different. The Ghosts this is uncommon. We have Cantina Bouncer. This is also uncommon. Blizzard Assault AT AT. Redemption Medical Medical Frigate for eight mana. And Emperor's Royal Guard in foil. Nice. So that's a foil rare. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're putting this one in this pile and the foil rare. I'm gonna put it for now into just foils. I'm gonna get the rest later out of it. Okay. We have Grand Moff Tarkin, Capital City, and now we go for the foils. Imperial Interceptor. Ah, oh, man. Get me a, a rare variant of that. And get me a rare variant of this one as well. Big fan. System Patrol Craft, Gamorian Guards. Have this one tug disabling fan fighter. Did we just have this one in a oh, wait? I think it's here. Yep, we're gonna compare those two. I think there's a difference in scale that no, has to be. Wait, I'm, I'm trying to understand is the artwork a little bit bigger? I think it looks a little bit bigger. I Dude, I don't know. 
I think it's not, but it's like the perception changes because of lack of the because of the lack of the frame. But it legit looks like the the artwork is bigger on the left side. But I think it's just a just a like mirage, you know. But man, this looks beautiful. Big fan. Big fan. Okay, so this one comes here, and this one goes here. We have Admiral Ozel, takedown, no good to me dead, <laughs> and we have a rare base for the first time, security complex, give a shield token to a non-leader unit, it's an epic action, so once per game, and then we have a uncommon outmaneuver in foil. Okay, so this one goes here, and this one goes into res. All right. Here we go. This goes here, this goes here, and we start with IG-88 and Echo Base, and then we have Mercenary Company, Restored Arc 170. Didn't have that one before. Infiltrator Skill. Very nice artwork. I like the composition on it. Really like the composition on it. Battlefield Marine. Rebel Paint Pathfinder. Make an opening. Seventh Fleet Defender. Again, give it to me without the border, please. Frontier ATRT. Syndicate Lackeys. Fighter for Freedom. That's uncommon. Wait, okay. Uncommon. Devotion. Bamboozle again. Count Dooku, it's a rare, and then we have Consular Security Force in foil, a common, okay. Alright, we have Chewbacca, Administrator's Tower, and then we go Open Fire, again beautiful artwork on the Imperial side. Big fan. Recruit. I think I'm gonna just mostly just play Imperium. Green Squadron A-Wing. Mercenary Company. Another Restored Arc. Crafty Smuggler. ATST. They do not... I, seriously, they just look so much better. They're all the Imperial like artworks. 7th Fleet Defender. 97th Legion. Woo! Starwing Scout. Yeah, this is going to be nice as well. Cannon, Jarrus, Home 1, a legendary. Oh, another beautiful artwork from Rebels, but look at the scale of this, right? Beautiful. Oh, this is, oh, this is another one that's going to absolutely smash it in Hyperscape without the frame. Absolutely gorgeous. I can only imagine. Okay, so this is a legendary. Restore two. Each other friendly unit gains restore one. When played, play a unit from your discard pile. It costs three less. Sounds like a good card. Hard to judge it. Okay, and a strike true. Okay, so we had four legendaries so far in this box. And normal legendaries, from what I remember, they come one in eight packs. So it should be three on a booster box and i'm assuming here i got the one additional because of the lack of frame right it's like an additional additional variant essentially all right we have ig88 catacombs first legion snow trooper consortium star viper which looks like folded paper death trooper let's go cantina braggart Vanguard Infantry, Mining Guild TIE Fighter, Maximum Firepower, Crafty Smuggler, and a Hyperscape of Gamorrean Gods. <laughs> I know this is not like intended effect, this is something that is actually physically there, but like the small, small, small things on the edges just look like anime, like, like, you know, like when something happens quickly in anime, you get those like edges in lines, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, actually more in manga than in anime, right? But yeah, so this comes here, 
Then we have Uncommon Attack Pattern, pattern Delta, Force Throw, ATAT -AT Suppressor, Don't Get Cocky, that's our rare, and Foil. Ooh, Crafty Smuggler, Common Hyperscape Foil. Very nice. Very nice. They, they are, even commons in versions of like foil hyperscape are beautiful and look very classy. And they look like collector items, you know, which is awesome. I wonder what's going to be the value difference between a normal common, which is probably worthless, right? Because in every game, commons are just not worth anything. Then we're going to have the hyperscape version of it and then the foil hyperscape version of it. I wonder what's going to be the difference in pricing for a common. All right, so common goes here. All right, we go here. We have common Sabine Ren, common center, infiltrators skill, battlefield marine, rebel pet finder, make an opening, cantina braggart, consortium star viper, frontier. ATRT, Java Scavenger, Scavenger, Mining Guild TIE Fighter, Smuggling Compartment, Blizzard Assault ATAT, Sabine Wren in form of a unit, Seventh Sister, that's our rare, Mace Window in Legendary Foil, oh my god, Legendary Foil, this is a Fifth legendary in a box. Ambush. When this unit attacks and defeats a unit, ready him. Well, that's interesting. That sounds pretty good, no? For seven mana, five, seven with an ambush? Well, I wonder if he's gonna swear a lot. All right. Not a booster pack. We're closing in to the end of the box. Common, common. Alliance X-Wing. Repair. Didn't have that one before. Didn't have the Wampa as well. So I'm guessing we're getting into a different pattern of uh, print, right? Super Laser Technician. I don't think we had them as well. Cloud City. Spetsforce Soldier. Rogue Operative. Yeah, we didn't have those commons at all. That's interesting. Neither we didn't... Uh, interesting, right? We didn't have those comments at all before. Hey! <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Big fan of those artworks. Okay, one part. Hyperscape goes here. Shoot first. Uh, that's an uncommon. Bright Hope. Another one that will look splendid. Force Choke. Bendu. That's our rare. And then the foil is an uncommon fighters for freedom. All right. We have our rare leader, Grand Admiral Thrawn. That's our rare leader. No foiling, no anything, but it's a rare. Okay, comes here. Common. All right, there we go. Death Trooper, Wampa. Super Laser Technician, Alliance X-Wing, Repair, Maximum Firepower, Surprise Strike, Rogue Operative, Fleet Lieutenant, in the non-frame no version. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. This goes here. We have Entrenched, is our uncommon. Ezra Bridger. Not the fan, uh, not a fan of the artwork. Looks very simple. Too simple for me. Oh, let's go! Bright Hope. Nice. In the hyperspace version. Very nice. Very nice. And then we have Rook. And our foil is going to be Partisan Insurgent. Very, very nice. Okay. Common foil goes here. 
All right, next booster box. I, uh, next booster pack, I mean. I just realized something. I might be very stupid. I thought the hyperspace versions only have those edges on the ships. But I spoke about the version of... Let me just put this aside. I spoke about the Gamorrean guards, right? Having the anime manga, like, lines on the edges. But that is actually the hyperspace version i am so stupid i just realized that but i'll be honest with you i thought it's only on the ships because it makes sense thematically right because of the hyperspace how on earth is that i mean yeah kind of confusing right you could understand why it fits here not exactly on a unit like this right but yeah all right so we go to the next booster pack we have sabine ren that's the leader Chopper Base, Steadfast Battalion, Cargo Juggernaut, Keep Fighting, Escort Skiff, Vigilant Honor Guards, Yeda Agitator, Azam, some new comments still, right? There, 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 there are some few comments that we didn't have. Bounty Hunter Crew, and I'll be honest with you, I think the non-foil version of this card looks just straight better. Uh, let me find the the foil over here. I think the non-foil version just looks better because it's more visible. This one is not the best foiling because it just gets so dark. You know what I mean? But the brighter artworks are looking amazing. All the super dark ones that have like, you know, space in the back. Those, those are looking amazing as well. Thai Advanced, that's our uncommon. Distant Patroller, another uncommon, and Trench, that's our hyperspace hyperspace version of uncommon. Very nice. Millennium Falcon, another legendary. What the hell? Did I misremember the amount of legendaries you're getting? Per booster box. I swear I've seen info that is like one legendary pair, eight booster box. Sorry, eight, bo eight booster packs. It's crazy. Millennium Falcon. This unit enters place. Ready when you're ready your cards during the recruit phase. Either pay one or return this unit to its owner hand. Three mana, three, four, overstated. Very nice. And Spets Force Soldier in common foil. Crazy. Crazy. Millennium Falcon. I can only imagine the no frame version. The hyperspace. Alright, so this goes into legendary. We still have four booster packs, so we can still hit something. <laughs> Maybe a showcase. That would be insane though. Hitting us hitting a showcase, it would be insane. Alright, we have Boba Fett, Chopper Base, First Legion Snow Trooper, Vanguard Infantry, Cloud City Wingguard, keep fighting, Alliance Dispatcher, Cargo Juggernaut, Volunteer Soldier, Outer Rim Headhunter, Viper Pro Droid, Colorless. Co blip, blip. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this has to be on purpose, no? A, a, a man, a colonel, that has white hair and white mustache. That has to be on purpose, no? Bantic Two Tubes, General Veers, beautiful artwork, big fan. Body Rook, that's our rare, and then Foil, nice. Death Star Stormtroopers, in Foil versions, in hyperspace, actually, I just realized. I just realized this is hyperspace. I was hoping the hyperspace will delete the box when there's no text. Because this would abs this would absolutely destroy as a full art version with no text box, right? Still beautiful, but it would look so amazing without the text box, man. I hope in the future in the future expansions those comments can have like that kind of treatment because this looks awesome this looks really awesome okay so hyperspace common all right here we go we have rare leader 
Hera Sindula. No foiling, just a rare leader. And command center, then alliance dispatcher. They have a tough job. Snow, Snow speeder, resilient, Death Star Stormtrooper, Academy Trading, Scout Bike Pursuer, Restock. I'm going a little bit faster because now we know most of the commons. Carter Spacer, didn't have that ship before. 97th Legion, Force Surrender, Bail Organa, that's our rare, and a Swoop Racer Foil. Just a normal one. This is pretty nice. Okay. We have two booster boosters left. Two. Showcase imminent. No? Hopefully. Alright. Common Jin Erso. Very similar to the movie character, I would say. Capital City. Ardent Sympathizer. Regional Sympathizer. Patrolling Viewing. Moment of Peace. Occupier Siege Tan, Gladiator Star Destroyer. This is one of the artworks from the Imperial Vehicles that I'm actually not a fan of. The other ones are looking much better than this one. This one looks very, like, basic and not that detailed. It doesn't have the depth. Snow Trooper Lieutenant. Snapshot Reflexes. Aha, welcome back. The Force is with me. That's an uncommon. Pirated Starfighter. Overwhelmed Barrage. Obi-Wan Kenobi! It's a rare. Okay. Not that iconic character. Ha ha ha. And Steadfast Battalion in foil. And the last booster pack of the box of my first ever box from Star Wars Unlimited. Let's go. Showcase. Oh, let's go! Hyperspace version of Catacombs of Cadera. Very nice. I actually didn't think about the fact that we can get bases in those versions. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Did I get one before? Wait, let me check that. Did I miss? But did I miss any? Yeah. My first ever base was a hyperspace. Oh, <laughs> that's what I thought. I was like, dude, I am almost certain I opened in a hyperspace before. Okay, so that's another one. Did I miss? And I missed. Oh my god. I also opened a hyperspace layer. Good thing I'm checking this. Oh, and that, that would be some comments like, bro, he's missing good cards. Nice. Okay. Did I miss anything else? Look, it was the first time I was opening those, right? So I was like, not sure what to expect. Here we go, another one. Echo Base in hyperspace as well. Here we go. And then, uh, what else did I miss? And this one is as well. So this is uh, Dagoba Swamp in hyperspace. And then this one. <laughs> In hyperspace version. Alright. Okay. Did I miss anything else? Yeah. Another one. IG-88. In hyperspace version. <laughs> how did... How could I miss that? That's crazy. That's crazy. Anything else? Okay. That's all. Alright. Alright. But... That's good. Where's my last booster pack? Did I open my last booster pack? No, I did not. This is my last booster pack. Okay. So, Space Force Soldier, Stadvers Battalion, Vigilant Honor Guards, Jedi, Snowspeeder, Gladiator Star Destroyer, Bounty Hunter Crew, Restock, Homestead Militia in Hyperspace, Inferno 4, that's our uncommon, Greedo, Bright Hope, Galactic Ambition, that's our rare, very nice detailed artwork, Hardpoint Heavy Blaster, that's our last card of the entire box. So to sum up the video, 
what we got in our first box, right? So when it comes to foil uncommons, we got five foil uncommons in normal framed versions, one rare foil in normal frame, right? So five uncommons, one rare. Then we got legendaries, four in non-foil, one in foil and one hyperspace. So essentially we got six legendaries in one box. And now when it comes to hyperspace, when it comes to the commons, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight common non-foils hyperspace. That's what we got. Then non-foil uncommons, we got two of those. One rare non-foil. And then we got three common foil hyperspace and one foil uncommon hyperspace. So we didn't get a foil hyperspace rare, but I'm guessing that's because we got a normal foil of a rare. Who knows? That's our first box ever. It was a fantastic experience. I loved it. Like going completely in the dark, going and opening a first box of any card game is a fantastic experience. I hope you guys enjoyed joining me in, in sharing this very, very magical uh, moment. And we're going to unbox a lot more stuff on my stream. We're going to unbox a lot more stuff on YouTube as well. So I hope you guys were going to join. And, uh, you know, leave a comment, whatever you liked. Did you like my mispronunciation of hyperspace at the beginning of the video? I know, I know, right? Or did you like the fact that I missed the hyperspaces at the beginning as well? <laughs> All right. Hope you guys had fun and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Love you.